Good afternoon guys, we are going to continue working on story sheet 5. We did the first part of question 1 and we are going to do the second part. That's B. <coughs> it says what is the magnitude of an electric field in which the electric force on a proton is equal in the magnitude in magnitude to its weight. Um, so first we can start. <laughs> So question one B says what is the magnitude of an electric field in which the electric force on a proton is equal in magnitude to its weight? So firstly, when you look at this question, it may think this question is vague and it doesn't have a lot of information for us to solve it. But then we are being given the, the charge of the particle to say it's a proton. So definitely we know that the charge is positive and we know the charge on a proton and we also know the mass of a proton. So we have our data there and then we can work and continue from there. So now we are being, we are being told to say the magnitude on its weight is equal to the electric force. So we know that the weight is equal to mg. And definitely we have m and we have g, which is gravity. And then we, we now know that the electric force, the electric force f is equal to e q. So e being the electric field and then q being the charge. So now we have the charge, which is the charge on a proton, and then we have the gravity, which is the gravity on Earth, and we have the mass, which is the mass of the actual proton. So now we can we can go forward and list our data. So we have our data. So we have the mass of a proton. We have the charge of a proton, and then we also have the gravity on earth so the mass of a proton is just 1.67 times 10 to the power 27 kilograms and then the charge of a particle which is a proton is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 coulombs then gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared of course you don't have to master this they are always in the question sheet which on the second page of first they can be given and you can find these you don't really have to necessarily master them so now using this we are being told to say we must find the magnitude of the electric field in which the mass times the gravity is equal to the force so we can equate this knowing that the force must be equal to the weight so we can say eq is equal to mg so now we've equated the electric force to the force of the to the force of gravity which is the weight so now we can make e the subject of the formula by dividing both sides by q then we're having e being equal to mg over q now this is our symbolic answer and from here all we have to do is plug in the values and then calculate and definitely to give us the answer so now we have the electric field e being equal to the mass which is 1.67 times 10 to the power negative 27 times 9.8 over the charge which is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 coulombs so let's get our calculator and then we can plug in these values so now you get your calculator and you're actually plugging the values 1.67 exponent negative 27 times 9.8 or divided by 
exponent negative 19 then we're having our answer to be 1.02 i've decided to use the significant figures which will end at 4 times 10 to the power negative 7 since in the question it didn't specify as to how many significant figures we should put and then we've not been given any figure which can tell us to say the significant figures should be this much so now that's our answer and we know that the SI unit for the electric field is newtons per coulomb since mass times gravity will give us newtons and then here we have coulombs under there so this will be our answer and now we've only been told to find the magnitude and not not the direction exactly so if we're told to find the direction of the electric field since it's a vector we could have now decided as to whether it's negative or it's positive all right guys thank you for watching and i would encourage you to subscribe to the channel so that you can be tuned to more videos that will come and please remember you do not have to necessarily plug in a value to say 1.67 times 10 to the power negative 27 but rather all you can do instead of putting times 10 you can write exponent and write the negative 27 that way it will be easier for you uh, for example when we plugged in the value to say 1.67 exponent negative 27 times 9.8 so we had our answer there. Now imagine if we had to say divide by 1.6 times 10 times 10 to the power negative 19. We would have a whole different figure. We would, we would be having times 10 to the power negative 40, 45. Yeah, so um, let's let's shy away from using times 10 to the power negative 19 and start using exponent rather because when we use times 10 which means that we divide this one by this one and then multiply it times the negative 19 which will give us a figure that's very very different from what we actually want